morning. It is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is Sunday, so that means that the Sketch Sunday crew and I are all working off of a sketch. Um, we are getting back into uh, exclusive sketches, which is super exciting. So today's sketch uh, comes to us from Moira, and it has tons of fun elements in it. So I am using the Savannah Dreams collection from Pretty Little Studio. This is from 2018. I don't have a lot of it left, but um, I have enough. And actually, since I've pulled it out, I kind of feel like it's something that I need to kind of try to stash bust and 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 use it up like there's not a ton left and it's all really cool and pretty and so uh especially that yellow heart paper <laughs> so that being said i had to save that so you can see in the sketch uh it looks like the bottom or the top gray piece is like torn paper so i tore mine a little bit shorter than what is in the sketch. Uh, not intentionally though. Uh, I really did have a higher intention of it being lower. Higher. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, but it kind of does. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but it's okay. It, it totally works. I really wanted you to be able to see that cute little pink heart that was added to this paper. And then I took another piece from the collection and it's kind of this watercolory paper, and I am going to use that as kind of that blue strip that you see. And then she's got three uh, triangles that go down the side. I am going to use three frames from this collection because I have like a little frame ephemera pack and then a few die cuts, not, not a ton. So I'm going to pull out a few things. I love this little heart. Uh, one of the frames says selfie, the one in the middle, which is perfect because um, the top photo is a selfie. So in the sketch, it calls for one a landscape photo. I actually have two, so I'm going to get two of them on here. Uh, so these two pictures our school does something super fun. They load up all of the graduates. I think the day before graduation in school buses and they take them to the elementary schools around town and they get to walk through the halls and um, most of these kids have gone to these schools so they get to see their old teachers and uh, it's super fun to see, like we have friends that have smaller kids, so they saw Lucas and they just thought that was the coolest thing. So it's really exciting for not only these teenagers, but also all of these little kids that, you know, these seniors want to come hang out with them at their school kind of thing. So that is the top picture. That is them on the bus. And then the bottom picture is they actually loaded up the senior class on uh, the courthouse steps uh, in our town. And I don't know if uh, any of your guys' schools have done that, done this, but they do something called the roller coaster. So somebody like, I don't know, like coordinates them and they like go up and then sideways and down. I don't know, it's really hard to explain. Um, I'm sure you can look it up though. I'm sure it's pretty popular. So it's really funny. So they did that on the top of, uh, on the stairs of the courthouse. So that was pretty cool. I did not get to go because I had to work, but uh, there were plenty of moms that shared pictures with me. So that's what this is. So I decided to uh, put my pictures together to kind of mimic the idea that there is one photo uh, like it's supposed to be in the sketch. And so I matted it with some black cardstock and I felt like it needed a little bit more black. So I was thinking of outlining that kind of watercolory paper right there, but I didn't have a big enough piece, number one. 
I could have fudged it and, and made it work. But um, I just felt like I didn't necessarily want that piece to stand out. So I opted not to do that, but I did want a little more black. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a torn piece of black uh, on the bottom between the yellow paper and the house's paper. And so the reason I chose the house's paper was because I figured they were going to all these schools and that was my rationale for that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, because it's Moira, she's got to have something up in the corner. So I have a couple of tags that I am going to stick up in the corner. I'm also going to add a tag that I can do my journaling. So it is above my photo, just like uh, is in the sketch. It's just not in a circle. And then I find a few other little tabs. So that's going to go up there. And then I decide that I need to back uh, at least two of these frames because I don't like how they're sitting over two separate pattern papers. And so I decided to bring a little bit more of that black in. And I think that that pops like, like I really like how that looks. So I'm going to fill in the top and the bottom one. And then each of the frames is going to get something in them. So the top piece has a die cut piece that says, each moment in your life is precious. So live completely, totally, fully, which I thought was good for graduation. And then in that middle one, I'm just going to do this little black heart. I felt like if I had backed that one with black, the heart would have got lost. So I figured that was enough. And then on the bottom, it says such a good story. So uh, my title, though, is going to be The Good Life, which is this big banner uh, ephemera piece. And so I put that right in between the photos. I like that because I'm not always a big fan when I put my photos together of kind of that break um, of the two photos, especially when you want them to kind of look like one. So I still was feeling like that watercolor paper. I don't know if it was blending in. It just needed something. So I decided to do a doodly border and since I did that, I did a doodly border on the tag and both banners. And then I also added some little doodly hearts uh, down at the bottom. And then to finish it off, um, I remembered I had these photo corners from Heidi Swap, and they're like lime yellow, <laughs> but they match the tag and that flower in the tab up at the top. And I knew I had four of them and they were the last ones that I had. And I was like, I need to use these up. So I am super excited to finally get these used up and I can throw away that little box. Like <laughs> it's just been waiting and waiting. Um, I will off screen go ahead and put some black jute twine in my tag and banners. You can see those right there. Um, and that is going to do it. So thank you, Moira, for such a beautiful sketch. Check out everybody down below who's playing along this week. And remember to wear your crown. And we'll see you next week. Bye.